the intelligent investor benjamin grammer preference to the fourth edition by warren buffett i read the first edition of this book early in 1950 when i was 19 i thought then that it was by far the best book by investing over written i still think it is to invest successfully over a lifetime does not require a stress for IQ, unusual business insights or inside information. What's needed is a sound intellectual framework for making decisions and the ability to keep emotions from coding that framework. This book precisely and clearly prescribes the proper framework. You must supply the emotional discipline. If you follow the behavioral and business principles that Graham advocates, and if you pay special attention to the invaluable advice in chapter 8 and 20 you will not get a poor result from your investment that represents more of an accomplishment that you might think whether you achieve outstanding results will depend on the effort and intellect you apply to your investments as well as on the aptitudes of stock market folly that prevail during your investing career The stiller the market's behavior, the greater the opportunity for the business like investor. Follow Graham and you will profit from folly rather than participate in it. To me, Ben Graham was far more than an author or a teacher, more than any other man ex- except my father. He influenced my life. Shortly after Ben's death in 1976, I wrote the following short remembrance. about him in the financial analyst journal as you read the book i believe you will perceive some of the qualities i mention in this tribute benjamin graham 1894 1976 several years ago ben graham then almost 80 expressed to a friend the thought that he hoped every day to do something foolish something creative and something generous The inclusion of that first initial goal reflected his knack for packing ideas in a form that avoided any overtones of sermonizing or self-importance. Although his ideas were powerful, their delivery was unpingly gentle. Readers of this magazine need to elaboration of his achievements as measured by the standard of creativity. It is rare that the founder of a discipline does not find his work accomplished in rather short order by successors but over 40 years after publication of the book that brought structure and logic to a disorderly and confused activity it is difficult to think of possible candidates for even the runner up position in the field of security analysis in an area where much looks fully so within the weeks or months or after publication Ben's principle had remained sound their value often enhanced and better understood in the wake of financial storms that demolished Fimser intellectual structures his counsel of soundness brought unfailing rewards to his followers even to those with natural abilities inferior to more gifted practitioners who stumbled while following counsel of brilliance of fashion A remarkable aspect of Ben's dominance of his professional field was that he achieved it without that narrowness of mental activity that concentrates all effort on a single end. It was rather the incidental byproduct of an intellect whose breadth almost exceeds definition. Certainly, I have never met anyone with a mind of similar scope. Virtually total recall ending fascination with new knowledge and ability to recast it in a form applicable to seemingly unrelated problems made exposure to his thinking in any field or delight but his third imperative generosity was where he succeeded beyond all others i knew ben as my teacher my employer and my friend in its relationship just as with all his students employees and friends There was an absolutely open in that no score scape generosity of ideas time and spirit if clarity of thinking was clear there was no better place to go and if encouragement of counsel was needed ben was there 
Walter Lippmann spoke of men who plant trees that other men will sit under. Ben Graham was such a man.